Hi, and welcome to my Who Wants to Be a Millionaire developed using uh, Java uh, MacBain. Well, uh, when you take a good look at this program, it works exactly just like any other millionaire program I developed using uh, Visual Basic, C Sharp, Game Maker, and uh, Flash. Um, let me just uh, walk you through how this very game works. I've used my logo right here as my trigger button. So if I click on it, the first thing you see is this very label of who wants to be a millionaire who disappears. And all these labels are actually text fields. And here is a, this very one is a, a label and that's a label 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 as well so let me click on this my trigger button yeah that's the very first question um what is a nine multiplied by four there you've just won yourself 100 pounds and so on so we just demonstrate so the next thing i would do after this my brief demonstration is to take you to how this very code was put together or how this very program was put together it's about uh, over 1000 lines of code so i may not be able to complete the whole session because of uh, my get boring so what i'll do is copy the whole code after the tutorial upload it into my share drive for you guys to see so let's just continue so, 5 multiplied by 2 plus 8, 18. Check this out, guys. It works just exactly like any other program I developed. And the next one, for every question, you, for every correct question, you can see you win some money so and that's it guys you've just won yourself a million so i'm just going to demonstrate how these other labels out there work those ones up there so i'll show you how those work and that's the 50 50 how it works just like any other game so we select the right answer and move on okay the next one is and so on guys so what i'll do now is take you into the development environment where i'll show you exactly how this very program works or how to put together such a program so let's go into java development environment right now okay now we start by creating a new project and uh, make sure you select java select java application click on next uh, give it a name i'm just going to call this i lottery i lottery oh already exists let me just call it p lottery get rid of that click on finish well as you can see and I have a new project called P Lottery I just gave it any name I like then I just right click on it new J frame select here comes J frame so I'm just gonna call that Q Lottery and right here uh, the package will be called maybe W Lottery as the package name. Done. Click on finish. Now, my frame right here, I'm going to need the size of this frame to be approximately. Let me go for my preferred size. Yeah, there. I just make that 1020 by 800. That's sort of like the size of my own uh, screen, so you guys can always change 
the resolution to the size of your own screen click on OK now the next thing I would do is right click on this my very frame I just want to change the background color to my own desired background so when as soon as I click on uh, play what will happen is definitely the mouse would move so I just change the color right away so I just say this dot get let's get content get content plane set back color background now let me set my color let's make that back black Might way just type it oh yeah it comes black let's pick on this that's fine now I need uh, to make color on there so that's my background color sorted back to design view the next thing is uh, let me get my labels I need three of those labels up there let's get three labels yeah yeah the main label I need one here I had three here one two and three three and I also need one for the logo right there okay I have all my labels in place so the next thing I would do is let me go and now import the images right here click on my no project go to my lottery folder right click on this very folder right there new select others now scroll right down other folder click on next give it a name images click on finish good the image folders are right there so the next thing is go to wherever you have your images I have mine on my desktop and uh, those are my images right there select my lottery images that I intend to use there copy and close that now right click on where you want the images right here and paste now let me drop this down so that you guys can see all the copied images it's taking its time there we go guys there they are those are all the images I intend to use if you double click on any one of them and that's what you see so let me just close that go back that is for my logo right there so I uh, will now go to select let me select this very label now scroll down here to the icon select the logo there the logo is right there let me just get rid of this text text is gone now come here label 2 select an icon as well I think that's called the people there get rid of the text label 3 get the icon right there that's uh, I think the telephone I believe yep there get rid of the text and label 4 that would be 50 50 yep here we go guys get rid of that too now let me just rearrange all of this stuff now the last one is this very one so I want that to be my very first Let's select that get an icon to it where is it okay seems I'm having problem uploading an icon to that I might as well just do it the hard way click on this very button right there and uh, let me just import it into that very one this is the logo I want for that okay now yeah that's good click on ok that's it it's right there now so so what I'll do next is rearrange the whole component and uh, 
get back to you guys this video will be too long so I may have to let's delete this text content in there I'm going to have to make it uh, one and two just move this one aside okay that's good looking good now the next thing is let me just get my text box and let me get a text box we need a text box right here one text box here that'll be the main text box one here for the question oh no that's uh, that's a text area delete that i need a text field text field one text field there and four more text field and uh, one here so i have all my text field in place ah uh, there is one thing because i intend to use this logo as my trigger area or trigger function i'm going to delete that let me just right click and delete it i need a button there to do the work for me let me get a button there we go it's a button right there good and uh, get that button in place yeah delete whatever content is in there come to the logo get that logo on board where is it there you there we go next finish click on ok there now we have my, my logo right there the next thing is uh, let me change the font size of this uh, text box where's the font size somewhere here font yeah there we go I'm going to change that to about maybe 20 24 ok so that's going to be for each of these text box now about let's make that but maybe about 36 bold select ok now delete the text content in each of them I'll delete the text content I think uh, because this is actually getting so long I'm going to have to stop the very first part of this program right there and I'll get back to you guys for the second part in the second part we will start the coding let's run you guys through how I go about writing the code for each of them okay all the text text box are now ready let me just uh, set them up properly okay just before the second part let me change the font of this uh, text box to white change that to white and repeat the same thing for the other four text box just change their font to white as well now that uh, the font are all white i will now change the back color to black i suppose you all understand why that's black and repeat the same thing for this very one so let's just speed it up now i've got all their background black so let me set the border um i'm going to select line border change the color to something very close to my millionaire yeah that's fine and change this to let me make the thickness four so now the thickness is four i have the thickness as four so let it be rounded edge yeah that's cool okay you can see that so i will now repeat exactly the same thing for the others and that four as well rounded edge yeah i think that's the one i selected wow. okay repeat the same thing and i'll get back to you guys now that we've completed that so let's put some text on here so I'll now right click on my phone select 
think I should you I will use the uh, let's use uh, window active there window activated yeah that's correct window activated right there okay get rid of that text box uh, text field one that set set text I just say who there and semicolon and text field two I'm just gonna make those ones empty that will be my text field two let's make them empty uh, something like that enter my semicolon right there okay I'll complete it and just get back to you and there they are all I just need to do now is to change the last name for the text boxes and that's the fifth one so we're back into the coding area the next thing is we will now declare or import some of these uh, some of the library that I'm going to need for this very tutorial so let me just scroll up right there so within the package right here I will import the following I have my import color in place already so I might as well just copy that put that back into the screen and uh, that was supposed to be for my black color but black I'm gonna need that the next is I will need another one for import Java AWT dot color now the next one is gonna be for white yeah that's fine now let's get another one for import I already have that in place let me import one for my oh that will be for java x java x dot swing dot image icon and one more for the frame i don't have to import this but uh, frame okay this would have been imported itself automatically within the uh, net being but because I'm aware of it or it being imported that's why in the case of uh, white and black you can see some errors there but don't worry about that those errors will disappear as soon as the program set but the next thing I will do right here just right here I will now declare the following variable so let me declare int call question that is a variable this variable the data type is integer the next thing is I will now let me declare a method by here I say public void initialize just to initialize my my variable right here that's my variable I just want to initialize it in this case let's just make it uh, oh sorry I'll make that equals zero okay since that is completed the next thing is uh, I'm going to declare some other variables here within my lottery package itself let me just uh, within my uh, q lottery public let me just dis delete all of these they sort of like in my way so i would now say let me say int count equals zero so this would be the counter so the force is zero 
and I will then declare a string and uh, this my very string will be called so I'm calling this very string image image names equals it's more or less it's a, it's more or less a, it's more or less an array so let me just put the name of the the name of my you know, let me get my very first image right there so the very first image I'm gonna million but jpeg okay that's the first image that's supposed to be one right there that's a one so that's my first image right there enter my semicolon there so one thing that is missing is my quote right there put a quote here and uh, another quote right there good now let's move that down I've got my very first variable set with my array so the next one is let me import people there are people on board so an integer people is declared and uh, is initialized with a zero so let's get another fake uh, another array in in this case I'm going to call that image image people equals get some arrays there and the, the name of the people will be let's get the people in p underscore m underscore p underscore x dot jpg that is the name of my next image so you guys might be wondering those names where they come from let me just show you where they come from before I speed this up speed this up right here are the names of the images that I'm calling this is the one I've just called right here look at it PMP X dot JPG right there and the first one called is one millionaire J dot JPG so I'm gonna I'm not gonna speed it up so that uh, you guys uh, okay now I finish uh, declaring all the variables and array for my images there they are from here and down here look at that all the way those are my arrays declared okay let me let you guys see it properly I will advise you guys to have a good look at it right up there come right down and so on okay so the next thing I would do is to create my question so right here I'm going to right click on it, go to events and select, select the click event, I think it's right there, mouse click, yeah it is mouse click, come right down, that's it right there, mouse click, there we go, right here, we have the mouse click, delete that, so I will now call my question questions equals question plus one so let's just correct these are supposed to be quest alright and the other one is is next there okay that's fine and my very first question is as follows if question 
equals 1 then we have I think it's called J tax J tax that will be a capital letter J tax J tax field 2 dot text and enter the following so that will become what is 9 multiplied by 4 entire circle semicolon that's for the question in that case that will be j tax 1 there so the next one will be for the answer so now call that A it's for letter A and that is supposed to show the answer in this case and the answer here right here I will tell the six we have our answer in place okay and that's J text field 2 this is lowercase let's change that to lowercase lowercase we have another lowercase so I'll just speed this up and uh, uh, maybe just copy and paste anyway so that you guys see the false part of it let's just copy and paste that we have three I made that number four okay this is uh, let's just change that to eight eighteen and the next maybe forty five followed by 67 good so let's just rearrange it give it a better look yeah right that's my first question in place the next thing is I'm just gonna copy all of this question and just change it to work for the second question so I will speed that up and get back to you guys oh. and uh, I copied it across and change it which I've done that's for question two so what we happening here is every time I click on the mouse sorry every time I click on the button call question will be incremented by one so the first time I click on it it becomes one you will see the following question when I click on it again the second question and so on so that's question two three four five seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 there are 15 questions altogether and the next line of code is just to I use that to call my X image for calling people I'll show you that so let me run this program you guys see how this question works and this very line of code how it works okay just click on uh, run and right here this is how the program is looking right now so if I click on my trigger button which is this logo click on it the first question pops up click on it again nothing will happen because I haven't have not written any code to trigger this very text box if I now click on this again can you see that that's question two and so on so if the player would like an audience to answer the question you click on this and you see that guys that means 
that very bonus is used up but I don't have that in here yet so I'll just take you straight into the program and you see how it's done as you can see even this uh, label is not moving yet so let's go back into the program and we get that sorted this is the very line of code I use for the bonus so I'm, going, I'm just going to copy go to design right click and select um, mouse click yeah that's fine just right there and paste that very line of code in there the image, the second image, I think is called. Uh, let's see what it's called. The second one is called phone. So let me change that to phone. Yep. Okay. I'm going to need one more. Put the bracket here. Okay, that's fine now. Yep, that's fine. And right here, that three. Yeah, and this. Oh, sorry about that. That's two. I'm actually dealing with this one here. Three. And. Uh, the name of my variable enter the name of my variable right there as the variable that I used up there so I will repeat exactly the same thing for the other one for the last one okay so the second one is ready so let me just uh, repeat exactly the same thing for the third one I might as well just speed it up okay the the bonus is finished and that's how it looks right now I think I should run it again so that you guys see it close it Now that's the bonus right there. If you click on 50 50, the red there X indicate that uh, bonus point is being used up for the frame. Get that, so that's how it all works. So let me go into the program right now and uh, work on this one so that uh, anytime you answer a question right you will see the, these indicators move up and showing you how much you've won so far so let's go into the coding area there is something I think I should do first when we click on this uh, trigger button right there we get the answer the selections of answers but if we click on 50 50 we expect some answers to disappear not all of the answers so what I will do is to actually program 50 50 so that uh, only two of those answers will remain so let's go back into the code view and get that sorted now right here we say if question equals 
1 and labor 4 labor 4 that is focusable focusable alright that should be 4 there then we want two of these to disappear so the four series I need to know where the answers are but let's just have a guess so this one is called okay so the answer should be somewhere let's look for the first question the very first question right there okay the answer is A so I want to keep A on maybe C so I'll get rid of B which is this copy that and 5 okay that's fine come right down here there space that there dot sets for grand and let's make that black yeah I'm gonna copy this copy as well and change this to five now you guys can see some errors here but right up here I've actually imported it there they are so I'm going to let go of this because it's now being used alright let's come back down and check that okay they're all back on track let's check it again of this change them okay so we're back on track now that means the text value in there Anytime I click that, it should become black, so you won't be able to see it. So if I, let me run the program and we demonstrate how it works. Okay, let's try it out. I'll get the first question in. Select 5050. Can you guys see that? So that disappears. So what I'll do is just repeat exactly the same thing for question two so i'm going to now program this trigger function to change the value back to white for the other questions or else you won't be able to see it can you guys see that you can't see the other questions anymore so let's go back into the program and get that sorted so i now need to go in here right click on this um, yeah there we are okay so I just need it to set the set it to white so right here uh, maybe yeah maybe that's fine that's all right here let's paste it there and set it back to white I will end up with error there. Yeah, I knew that. So I need to import. Yeah, I believe I think I have that up there. Really. Yeah, that's fine. The error is gone. So I have about. 
misplaced. Problem is sorted now. Save. Okay, that's it right there. Let me repeat. Uh, let me do the same thing for question two, and let's see the answer to question two. Question two is exactly the same thing. Maybe I, I, I might as well. Maybe change it to. Let's make the answer D. So. That'll be let's change that to hmm, let's say forty seven. So twenty and the answer will be D. Okay, that's fine. I can always get rid of A, which is frame text field two and text field four. Okay, let's go back there screw right down so I'll copy this yep that's right copy that I will then use all paste that as uh, if if it's question 2 if it's question two, come that again. Yeah, done. If it's question two, we get rid of uh, with two and five. Yeah, two and five. Yeah, I'll make that three and four. Yeah, instead of two and five, two is a uh, answer to one. Okay, that's uh, that's that done. I can always speed that up now that that is ready. Okay, let's continue with the coding. Okay, where is the trigger function? Right there now I need it to call all this array sorry all these images right here so anytime you click on the button all these images should show up so let's go back to the system okay to get these images rolling so let's click on uh, this very text box there and I'm going to use a mouse click mouse click right there now get rid of this comment there's going to be some coding here so let's say if call question equals one all questions equals one and and this very text box right there copy that and paste it right there paste the dot what I think is faster is focusable I'll just correct that. Let's see. Yep, that's fine. If it's focusable, right. 
okay and then we need to set all of this right here set as follows dot set I need the opacity in this case to be true else we will have a problem we won't be able to the color will not change okay get the opacity to be true and repeat exactly the same thing set uh, for color edit for color yes. and set that to color that should be that should be uppercase dot black okay now I now need I need that to be make that the back color Make the back make that green all right so if the answer is right the text is black and the back the background color becomes green so for the rest let me just copy I'm gonna copy that and just change the data in there one two three that's correct three of them so this becomes white that becomes white and this becomes black paste have it comes black so and I change this to three 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 I just repeat the same thing for all and that's it guys so what will happen is once it's clicked this becomes green the background green, the background the four colors is black while the rest remains white and black so let's now I need to include my image right there so I might as well just copy the image the image code right here this very one let's copy that copied but I'm going to need the name of the very first image that I intend to use my very first image is right here so I need there we go right here correct one and uh, the image for correct one is called image correct one so let's go back down paste it right here and this becomes correct one you guys see that it's painstaking you have to be careful when you are putting this very program together all right so so that you don't mess it up it's taking me forever to complete this second one so let me just speed it up okay I finished every line line of code right there guys you can take a good look at it okay so the next thing is I will now Let's run it and see what we've done so far. 
I'm right here start a question as question one maybe for a friend you can see that that bonus point is gone select the correct answer you see that guys the first question you've just won yourself 100 pounds so what I would do right now is to actually speed this up because I'm now approximately 24 minutes is taking too long I just speed it up because I intend to end this tutorial I think the third one is enough so let me speed it up and I'll get back to you guys and there guys so this is how it looks the right answer is 36 you see that question 2 it's correct move on and that's how you develop who wants to be a millionaire in Java system is a bit slow okay guys I suppose you enjoy the tutorial and um, the rest of the code is just exactly the same thing the right answer that's the right answer Oh, and so on guys I hope you enjoyed it so I'm just going to call it a day it's been a long day for me so you all have a nice day now